Boys Scouts has a Chester County woman in the spotlight. She claims a former scout leader sexually abused her son, and that led to his demise. Tonight, Jeff Coleman, Fox 29, investigates. Bring us this startling report, which has the Boy Scouts nationally explaining their actions. It's not even a real smile. You could see it, and even in his eyes, it's it's not a happy face. I, you could see it. It's he's not happy there. The images of Thomas Eversu's sad short life. I feel when I touch him, I'm touching him. I miss him so. Hang on the wall of his folks' Chester County home. How often do you think of him? Every day. There's not a day that don't go by that you don't think of him. I miss him. She says she misses the blonde boy with the shy smile. She longs for the friendly teenage Eagle Scout, and she aches for the troubled man struggling with booze and the law. How did your son pass? How did your son die? He killed himself. Who ended his life at the age of 38 with his father's rifle in a secluded parking lot. And the car blew up, and he burned to death. which meant that he was alive where the car was burning. And I just can't get that out of my head. He was alive while the car was burning. And she says this man. Mr. Morris, how are you? All right. My name is Jeff Cole from Fox TV. Former Chester County, Pennsylvania scout leader Charles Christopher Morris is to blame for her son's demise. I'd like to ask you about Tommy Everson. I can't talk to you. Did you sexually abuse him, sir? No. Charles Morris, known as Chris, was a Chester County, Pennsylvania, Troop 67 scout leader. Tom Everson was a young scout in the troop. According to a lawsuit filed by his mother against the Boy Scouts and Morris, he continually sexually abused Tom Everson, beginning when he was just 11 years old and running to the age of 15 in the mid-1980s. She says her son first spoke of his molestation in a tearful, heart-wrenching conversation years after the alleged abuse. You asked your son directly. Oh, yeah. Whether he was molested by this man and he said he wasn't. Yes. We just hugged each other and cried then. Everson, a former school bus driver and a mother of two boys, says in the spring of 2010, she drove to Chris Morris's Chester County home to tell him off. And I walked in and I says, Chris, this is a social visit. And he looked at me and he says, you mean it's about me sexually molesting Tommy all those years ago? He just admitted it to He me. just said, you mean when I sexually molested Tommy? This longtime scout leader admits to you face to face that he had sexually molested your yes. son. Yes. He says, well, you know, that was a bad time for me. I was sick back then. But I went to a doctor, and I'm better now. And I'm really sorry about Tommy. When we pressed Morris on the deck of his home, he denied the abuse and the admission. Did you sexually abuse him, sir? No. Did you make an admission to his mother that you did? No. The day before he killed himself, he hugged me in the doorway and said he loved me. Patsy Evesu says she wrote a letter to Chris Morris's daughter, Jennifer Cleveland, and told her of her father's alleged admission to abusing Tom. Fox 29 Investigates has obtained Cleveland's response to Everson. She wrote that she spoke to her father about a subject he had no idea how to bring up. She continues, I can sense the guilt, shame, and sadness he feels about something that cannot be changed. And added, I am glad you had the courage to confront my dad. He has changed so much over the years, I don't see this happening again. Cleveland did not return a call from Fox 29 Investigates for comment. Did you go to the police? No. Why? I don't know. Same reason I guess Tommy never told me. I don't know. Do you wish you had? Oh, my God, yes. Yes. If I knew what the outcome would have been, uh, yes. And there's more. Tom Evesu appears to have written a diary which was found on his computer after his death. 
It describes instances of sexual abuse by his scoutmaster and locations where it occurred. They want the community to know what Chris Morris did. Attorney Ken Rothweiler, who's a legal analyst for Fox 29, has sued Chris Morris and the Boy Scouts on behalf of the Evisers. He charges the Scouts failed to alert parents of the sexual abuse allegation facing Morris. They put him on a secret list and shipped that information off to their central headquarters in Texas and never told anybody about it. When I say never told anybody, never told the family. In a statement to Fox 29 Investigates, the Boy Scouts write, it banned this individual from scouting immediately upon being notified of suspected abuse in July of 1995, adding, the behavior included in these allegations runs counter to everything for which the Boy Scouts of America stand. And there's yet another sexual abuse allegation against Morris. I didn't even know what to say, I didn't know what to do. This man, who asked Fox 29 to hide his face and withhold his name, says he too was sexually abused by Chris Morris while a Boy Scout in Troop 67. He touched me on my thighs. On my genitals. He says he was Tom Ebisu's friend and that they talked about the abuse they suffered during the same period. While he did not alert the police and has not filed a lawsuit, the Ebisu's confirmed he was part of their son's troop. He has provided Fox 29 investigates with proof of his membership in Troop 67, including marriage badges, letters of congratulations from U.S. Senators for becoming an Eagle Scout, and pictures of himself with Chris Morris at scouting events. Said that he was going to teach me how to stop bleeding internally when he put his fingers inside of me. We asked Morris about his claim. He's told me that you did sexually abuse him, sir. He's told me that you sexually abused him, sir. Thomas Evasu took his life on February 1st, 2012, parked in the same spot Chris Morris used when Troop 67 would gather at the old stone building for me. In a suicide note, he wrote, I'm sorry. I am just a burden to everyone. Do not seek retribution against anyone. I love you all. Do you believe your son killed himself because of the molestation that he suffered at the hands of Chris Moore? I think so. I really do. Did you sexually abuse Tommy Everson, sir? No. That's not what you told his mother. Why are you no longer with the Scouts, sir? Have they kicked you out? The attorney for the Scouts, Joseph O'Day, tells Fox 29 Investigates, the Scouts did promptly notify law enforcement in 1995 when it received the report accusing Christopher Morris of inappropriate conduct with a minor. They say it's the only report they have. O'Day says the Scouts alerted the Chester County Youth Services Department and were told the county detectives would be informed. As we've reported, Morris was kicked out of the Scouts. He was never criminally prosecuted. The Scouts say they now perform criminal background and other checks to serve as barriers to abuse.